Ladies and gentlemen, let's try game to the video. We're going to be taking a look at Divinity Original Sin on, of course, the PC. So, this is available for $39.99, that would be US dollars, and is developed and published by Larian uh, Studios. So, in case you're unfamiliar with the basic concept of this, it is pretty much a, well, point and click RPG, uh, very much in the Diablo-esque or even, let's say, Neverwinter Nights style. So the purpose of this video is to show you the character creation and the first little bit of gameplay. It's not going to be a full review or anything like that. I will be doing a longer in-depth review over the next few days. But for now, this is going to be just a sneak preview to give those of you who are toying with the idea of buying it and whether it would be your cup of tea or coffee. Um, and just to uh, kind of give you a sneak preview. So, first thing I feel that would be the appropriate uh, action would be to check out the options. So, we shall do just that. Um, this, of course, was started on Kickstarter as well. Um, but I imagine many of you know about the game's basic background. So, anyway, you've got resolution options, which are fairly numerous. Actually, all the way down to 640 by 480 although I really wouldn't want to play the game in such a ludicrously low resolution. Frame rate cap if you so desire and you can indeed select quality preset or you can choose custom which is what I've done. Uh, there's model and texture quality which are separate so you can see you've got very low, low, medium and high and strobic filtering options in menu, uh, lighting options, shadow quality, shadows of course, oops that was bad. Shadows, of course, are definitely one of the more taxing things. You've got SMAA, as well as uh, FXAA. I'm actually using an AMD card. Typically, I use a NVIDIA card, but I'm using a um, AMD card for this particular review. And finally, you've got uh, anti-aliasing and, and then various uh, lighting slash post-processing uh, effects, such as motion blur, depth of field, and all the other shiners that you would expect. Under uh, controls, it's pretty much what you'd expect. M for map, I for inventory, and blah, and blah, and blah. Um, under audio, I'm just going to turn down the music a smidgen because I find it's pretty damn loud, actually. So I'm just going to turn that down. Um, and that's about it, actually. So what we're going to do, I have created a game and I have been playing a little bit. But I'm going to just pretty much nuke that and say, nope, I'm going to start a single player game. Because uh, I don't want anyone coming online and bugging us. And so, we'll be creating a basic general uh, character selection and going through some of the options. Um, take a moment to load, unfortunately. There are tool tips displayed on the top, which is pretty much customary now for these type of games. And we've got the option of choosing two main characters, which they're basically going to interact with each other as we progress through the storyline. Um, I've got to admit, I've played around with a couple of characters. I tried out the witch and what was the other class? Let's click on this and I'll remember in just a second. It was a battle mage. Um, and they're fairly numerous, actually. You've got battle mage, cleric, enchanter... A fighter knight. Um, fortunately, they do um, provide a brief overview as well as the starting skills. So, for example, um, let's just check out the range. Uh, let's go with rogue. You've got walk in the shadows. In fact, this is a pretty good explanation because you can see that you've got, for example, three action points. Now, action points, as it turns out, every action that you perform requires, well, action points. And we'll see more about that in just a moment. But you basically get starting skills and scrolls, depending on your class. So, for example, Shadow Blade, um, Bleeding Status, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm actually not sure. Typically, what I personally do in these type of games is I'll bugger around with a, different, a couple of different classes. Um, just to give me an idea of what I like. Uh, you've also got the option, of course, of choosing male and female. So there's a couple of different character portraits we've got. You can just kind of go through those if you so desire. 
you've got female, um, you can spin the camera angle. I wish you could just drag with the mouse, but unfortunately you cannot has. Um, so you've got female and male AI, uh, personality loyal. You can adjust that as you desire. Ah, a four. Have I got better to debt a whetstone wheel? Now, what do I have that there must be a way okay, to cool. these Okay, cool. And of course, safely. you have various uh, pure ivory, so that's basically like death. So, what we could do, for example, is we could make like a witch. Um, you've got different hairstyle options, as you'd expect. Looks a little bit... Where was that style? Was it that one? No, not that one. There's one of them. That's Princess Leia. I think it was that one, actually. Looks a bit like a uh, Geisha. It's also a little bit scary, so I'm probably going to add just a, a hint of skin color. Um, Alright, so each one that looks pretty cool, in my personal opinion. You've got the Knight, which looks pretty intimidating. You could see that um, there's a fairly large diversity of different classes, um, and I'd recommend that you check all of them out. Um, to a greater degree or another. Personally, I'm just going to try out a couple at the moment because I'm not uh, super, super sure what I want to play. So at uh, this moment, you can see that we've got bleeding statuses and stuff like that. So I'm just going to try Shadow Blade. Uh, I'm going to change that name, however, because I don't feel that's appropriate at all. So I'm just going to call it uh, Crimson because, you know, why not? And I'm going to go ahead and also customize this one because we've got two Shadow Blades now, which isn't going to really serve us too well. I imagine that there are going to be min-maxes out, min out there. And I imagine that if you, one was to take a bit of uh, effort or put a bit of effort into it, you could probably figure out what is going to do the best or most damage. I'm going to go ahead and select Witch for our secondary character. I honestly have no idea how balanced these classes are. I'm just going to do it because, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to go with Wizard because I've already tried a Witch and I figure I'm going to go with Wizard. As I said, I don't necessarily know if this is like going to be the classes that I'm going to use long range uh, forever in a day. He looks a little bit large, doesn't he, for a Wizard? I mean, Jesus, he looks like a bodybuilder. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to leave him as is and I'm going to change his head a little bit. Yes, make him look all very intimidating, don't you know? I don't feel that that worked at all. The ginger afro is probably not um, going to suit as well. Okay, let's go with that. And let's, uh, let's go with like the magneto kind of look. Yeah. Weirdly enough, you can change the underwear. <laughs> which is a little bit odd, I, I personally feel. Now, you can actually change their um, abilities that a little bit more, if you so wish. Um, you can see that you can actually change and, and adjust all their talents and um, other bits and bobs. But I'm personally not going to do that for this, because I want to get us into gameplay at some point this century, rather than having to uh, kind of play around with all this. Besides, I feel that most likely the default setup will at least do us to a degree. So, I think I'm just going to click accept. I'm going to name this guy. Uh, I'm just going to name him. Uh, that's, that's actually not a cool name. Uh, let's go with Magus. Why not? I have no idea. Uh, I'm really shitty at naming characters. So, Crimson and Magus. We have adventurers. Do you not feel ready? Do you not feel, do you not feel prepared to go on an adventure? I don't particularly, but whatever. Are you sure you're done with the character creation? Yes, I am. Not particularly feeling confident, but... In the days of old, the sorcerers of Rivalon cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. Good old Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land. It tends to do that to you. Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy. And madness has overtaken them. A few brave source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever source appears, hunters follow. Mmm, that source though.
Okay, so we're on a ga galleon? Would it be a galleon? I don't actually know. I'm really shitty when it comes to knowing my ships. Strange that rise and shine, masters or sonters. The captain wants you up on deck. Yeah, them goals means we're close to shore. I'm not sure how I feel about the FMV sequence. I kind of like it though. There, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I quite like it. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood, but you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source I actually really like, like the art city. style. I don't know if no I like the FMV animation, more. but I really Here like the art style. Sir. God's blessings on you, hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sykes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that back. I am going to take that back. So we'll I actually do like carefully. the style. Here, I really do. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. Oh, God. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off at the beach. Be wary now. Life is a beach. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and... There's a sorcerer on the loose. So it's looking pretty it's good. Personally, I, I feel extremely confident about all of this. About you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, source hunters. Okay. So, what I am going to do um, is go ahead and click on options. And I imagine somewhere in here, he says... Uh, Hopefully that'll do us. Alright. So, we've got two characters. Uh, obviously our health bar would be at the bottom. And we've got uh, these scrolls. Now, as you can see, saving throw is bodybuilding. Interesting. I'll have to take that to the gym with me. Um, you can see that you've got action points. Now, these suckers can only be used once. So you might not want to just do what I did when I first played the game. It was like, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I basically just used that on the first fight because I didn't read. So this is going to be one of those games. I don't know why I chose that bloody portrait. That was like the... I, that's already making me twitch quite immensely. All right. Well, anyway. If I didn't know they were orc ships raiding to the west, I'd yes, mistake press this I for to a access that inventory. If you're thinking and nodding to yourself that this looks familiar, then yeah, it does. We've got a couple of different so uh, scrolls as well in the inventory, as well as a few other bits and bobs. And we have 200 gold. I don't exactly know how much 200 gold is, um, as in terms of what does it buy you. For example, in some games, 200 gold can outfit your entire character. And in other games, it can barely... Well, let's just be honest. It will barely buy you a health potion. So, I guess we're just going to have to see. Alright, rejoice. I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs down the beach. This is my small feat for the man that can fly. The sun shall be my next target. So, apparently he believed that he could fly. Apparently he was taking lessons from R. Kelly. Yep. Okay, so, as I mentioned, you can do some role-playing between the characters, and you can uh, change these. Now, interestingly enough, you change the, you can uh, alter the dialogue between the two. So, I'm just going to go with that one. No, you can actually just press one. So, I got myself pragmatic for both, which I think is pretty cool. That's... Not exactly what I was going for, but at the same time, it wasn't what I wasn't going for. If that makes any sense. Alright, uh, I'm just going to leave that as is. Might as well explore. I do like that you can actually walk away without needing to close it. That is extraordinarily irritating in titles where you cannot do that. But it just binds you to the spot unless you happen to press the bloody button. Alright, so we've got a fight now. Them, source hunters! Secure the stone! I'll deal with these so we can't actually do it a bit yet. Um, we're just waiting for this little uh, cutscene to play out. Uh, in case you're wondering where the subtitles are, you can read it just down there. Rise, arise, drawn forth from blood. I bid you aid me. You know, considering they're drawn forth from blood, there's no much blood on them. All right. So combat is turn-based. 
So we're going to see the... Well, we can actually already see the turn order right there. Um, and as I mentioned, different abilities have different costs. So what we can do is we can just left or control over them. And that will basically pop up what they do. So rip your target as if it's slashed with a sword. If it has blood, it shall bleed. I'm going to guess these guys are not going to do that for us. I get the feeling that they're going to be mean like that. Uh, magical claw hold. Right, let's... Uh, so what you do, you hold one, for example, and then you just click. And then you can see what happens. So we've used some of our ATB. So what we're going to do is just press space to end turn. And we've got flare. It was magical damage. Cast a poisonous dart. I don't know how effective that would be, considering they're undead. Uh, slows down characters. Staff of Magus launches missiles. Uh, I'm going to go with one. Alright, we're just going to blast these guys after we end their turn again. Okay, that's just not very nice at all, really. Right, uh, that one's still charging, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this and just kind of see what happens. Actually, you might have to kind of mosey on over here first and then maybe do some slashing. There we go, a little shockwave of destruction. Right, there we can do, give, give him some stabbing love. Alright, and now we're definitely going to give him a Kamehameha. With like a little... He's apparently he's warm. Considering I've just hit him with a big ass fireball, one would hope he would be. Ow! Stop fucking shooting me. That's not cool. You know what? I'm going to stab you again. I'm going to give you just a little bit of loving. Apparently he absorbed that, which is not exactly what I was hoping for. All right, we've got some aged leather there. Their leader said something about escaping with a stone. Right. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Okay, that would be the dungeon, but first, before we do that, let's check out what we've got. So we've got some aged leather, um, which does have an armor rating. So what I'm going to do is just uh, double-click on that, just to quickly uh, change our gearing. Um, I think for now, that's pretty cool. We've got abilities, weapons, do 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 I imagine that we should probably venture forth. So you can see that loading's actually fairly... Uh, snappy. This is not installed on the SSD or anything like that. It is uh, just yield typical. <laughs> I love how candles show they're burning. I think that's just a really nice touch. Um, so this is just installed on a standard 7200 RPM hard drive. So uh, there's not anything amazing or exciting going on there. So loading times are going to be pretty much what you'd expect. All right, you can move objects by dragging. All right. That's actually a really nice touch. I don't know if you agree. I think that's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen a game do that, actually. I'm not saying it's a unique idea, but I don't think I've seen these type of isometric... Careful. <laughs> There's a mine in the middle of our path. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. Huh. Mine alert. You can trigger mines by... Attacking them with ranged weapons. I genuinely do not see the mine. Oh, there we go. Oops. Alright. What we probably want to do... Ow! Okay, that has quite the range. I did not realise the range would be quite that much. Ow, fuck. Can we heal? Okay, we do have a couple of healing potions. Alright. Mm -hmm. Random little rat running around. I've always heard there's more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day. Ah! Old parchment. Tend the graves in the antechamber before moving to the inner rooms. To proceed, stand very close to the impressed door and press the button that appears on its right side. 
Okay, well, I guess we'll find that in a second. But first of all, let's just explore. So, as you would expect, well, you, as you probably would expect, depending, I guess, if you played these games before, you can basically click wherever you would like to walk, or you can simply hold the button. Um, a nice little mechanic, and personally, I don't think I've seen it done too often, is the further away you drag, the faster you shall move. So, it's a nice little mechanic if you feel that, for example, you're being a little bit cautious in an area. This chest doesn't find a lockpick to open it. Or we could just do Kame! Okay, that's actually pretty uh, resilient, although it's burning, which is probably not good for any items that are inside it. But whatever. Okay, nothing in there. So it's almost like the Skyrim approach. You probably want to check as many of these little nooks and crannies as possible. I've got to say that I do feel that that's maybe slightly in the way. It might be a little bit too wide, but that's just my personal opinion. Actually quite nice aesthetically, I'm sure you'll agree. I found something. Aha! This seems to be broken. Yes, quite. Let's put my uh, the girl forward first. You can look behind walls by hitting the mouse middle button. Okay, so you can get a limited FOV. And by limited, I mean extremely limited. But what we can do... This door doesn't look very stuffy. Yeah, fuck you, door. Our weakness, apparently, the, its major weakness is being stabbed. Door, but I don't imagine our weapons could survive such use for long. True. Bashing through every entrance we find is bound to affect our gear's durability. Okay, I should probably take note of that. I think next time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use his magic to blast it. It's probably safer for us all. If it's F5. So, F5 quickly saves, and F8 to load. I feel that I'll be abusing that just a smidgen. I feel that it's probably told me that for a good reason. It's probably not just for the lols. Alright. Okay, so so far, doing pretty well. How's that? You can cast magic you haven't learned yet. Alright. Let's see what this little bub thinks of it. Okay, don't see the magic square. Considering I'm looking under all. Eh. I are confused. I'll look at that later. Anyway. Hang on, let's be a bit careful here. Alright, let's see if we can do that again. Try and screw this barrel up. Excellent. I'm gonna wait for this fog to. Well, actually, it's probably steam. It's probably gonna be quite hot. Use a water spell or destroy a water barrel. Am I going to get burnt by the steam? No, I'm not. Okay, good to know. Careful now. That's a trap. Yeah, it is. Alright. Let's move back a smidgen. No, not that way! Don't even think about it, jabroni. Okay, that was a bit that was a bit mean. That was poison. That would have sucked quite immensely. Ew, white key. Hmm. 
If I am right, I don't think I've spun the camera that far, so let's just quickly save it rather than having to redo all that again. Okay. We've got ourselves a nice poisonous cloud to the left, and we have ourselves that looks like actually a shiny over there. But it doesn't appear that we can get to it. Actually, you know what? We might be able to do this in a very simplistic manner. Okay, not going to happen. Okay. Didn't assume that would work, but good to know. This seems to be broken. Yeah, it's quite. I have nothing to douse the flames, I don't think. Midnight oil. Creates an oil. Interesting. I actually want to check that out and see what happens with fire. Alright, that didn't do exactly what I expected it to do, if I'm totally honest. Well, good to know. Alright, let's head through the door. Always. Oops. Alright, so we can't do it that way. I don't see a switch, which means that we have to have a little look around. Don't bloody sit down, you twit. No time to bloody rest. Alright. Okay, want to be a bit careful of that. Did not realise it was so explosive. We'd have to drag it though. Ah. Metal temple door key. Alright. Do, do 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 Come on. Let's see if we can head back to this door and let's see if it opens. Theoretically, we would assume yes. Ah! Pretty simplistic. Good. That's what I like to see. Well, I didn't do exactly what I was expecting it to. No, no, no. Hmm. Let's move her back a smidgen. Shiny. Shh. I think I hear voices downstairs. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. And to sneak oh dear. Sneaking successful. I like it. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Gah. Oh, yeah, baby. Alright, 
Yes. Okay. I know you want this. I can see it in your eyes. That was somewhat disappointing. Alright. Ah! Bloody... Alright, you know what? That was really, 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 really disappointing. Oh, he died. I guess he's just kind of burnt to death. Oh, well. I'll, I'll take that. Actually, you know what? Let's just quickly grab that fireball scroll. Yeah, give me that fireball. Yeah, give me that. Really? I still haven't picked it up? Seriously? Thank you. I was going to say. Alright, so far I'm actually really enjoying it. It's obviously a little bit slower paced if you're, say, used to something like Torchlight or Diablo and those type of... Yeah, there we go. Pressure plates can be activated on your own body weight or by... They make a click sound when activated. Okay. What I'm going to guess... First of all, I'm guessing that we probably want to move something on here. So let's see if we can do just that. Alright. Good and simple. That's, that's good. Not exactly the world's most complicated of puzzles, but hey. Right, simplistic. Ooh. I'll check that out later. I'm, be... I'm not really one to craft in RPGs. I know it's like a really big thing. It's the same as I really did not like. Ah. Away from one another, breaking the chain. Oh, I see. Oh, that's good. Alright. Apparently there's an ingredient, or food, which is somewhat disconcerting. How are we supposed to get through here? Obvious when you know how. Good. We've got a save point as well, which is probably okay. Already way ahead of you, bro. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lost him. wasn't what I was hoping for. Oh. <laughs> Strange indeed. Robbed indeed. Your tricks do not save his retribution. Deceiver. The bloodstone. Deliver it now. Who are you? Okay. I had a feeling. He's not one to play fairly. Alright. I think the first thing we're going to do is take out these dudes first. No. Let's just stab them and let's just... Yeah. Let's keep shanking. Yeah. Shanking is definitely the way forward. 
Actually, before we do that, what do these do? Friend Oil Service, Magical Poison Dar, Staff of Magus. Apparently he wants more of the, you know, death. Ow! Okay. If you'd stop hitting me, that would be pretty sweet. Alright, we've got no points left. Awesome. Ow, one of party members is low on health. Use a healing potion. Sounds actually a pretty good idea to me. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping to happen. I was really hoping for not that to happen. Alright, I don't quite know what we're supposed to do to heal ourselves. Alright, also binding fails apparently. Oops, that's probably not going to help us too much. Oh, uh, oh, he's almost dead there. Yeah! Okay, not hitting me would be pretty sweet. Yeah! Sweet! Uh-oh. Okay, you're not really playing fairly here, Bob. Alright, let me... Let me give you some love. Oh, okay. He doesn't bind, apparently. Binding is love. Alright. Yeah, have some of that. Apparently poking him is a lot more effective than a fireball. Who would have thought? It's like, poke. Poke, and he's dead. So anyway, guys, I think that's a reasonable uh, amount of gameplay. So, obviously we've gone through character creation and some of the starter dungeon. I will be doing a more in-depth comparison and review for this in a not too distant future but for now i figure that's enough so hopefully you've enjoyed it i'll see you soon take care bye for now